What is up? This is your Desert in a Minute. And making your way into Palm Springs, one of the first things you notice is what seems like miles of wind turbines dotting the landscape as far as the eye can see. This is actually known as the San Gorgonio Pass Wind Farm, and it's one of the most unique and important sources of energy for all of California. Let's get into it. The idea of generating electricity from wind in the San Gorgonio Pass area isn't new. In 1926, Drew Oliver and his electrician, W. Sperry Knighton, built a wind turbine near Whitewater with the vision of powering all of Palm Springs. He had success at first, so he applied for a license to start selling stock in the energy company, but he ran afoul of California security laws and was put in jail, and the project was put on ice. As visions of wind-powered electricity in the past percolated for the next four decades, the modern versions of the first wind farms were erected in 1982 as 212 wind turbines were installed on a plot of land north of I-10 and west of Indian Canyon Drive. As homes and businesses in the desert area and as far as Los Angeles thirsted for energy, the wind farms quickly became a way of life in the desert. And soon after the first wind farms were built and started to thrive in Southern California, the industry boomed nationwide. Today, there are more than 60,000 wind turbines in the United States, which actually produce more than 10% of all electricity in the United States and close to 11% here in California. So these turbines in the San Gorgino Pass are technically called the Cabazon Wind Farm, and it's part of a fleet of wind projects within the San Gorgino Pass that's managed by multiple organizations. So why here? Well, the location is ideal. The gap between San Bernardino and San Jacinto Mountains is a natural wind tunnel. No snow, it's at sea level, no ice, with average wind speeds between 15 to 20 miles an hour, making it one of the most consistently windy places in the entire United States. Locally, these wind farms provide power to more than a quarter million homes and provide millions of dollars in tax revenue to the city of Palm Springs. That said, many local residents didn't take kindly to the wind turbines when they first arrived decades ago. Industrial energy generation was seen as incompatible with the valley's reputation as a relaxed tourist destination. Hmm. In fact, in 1985, Palm Springs sued the Bureau of Land Management to try to block further wind development on federal land north of the city and to try to force the removal of some existing turbines. Wow. That said, Palm Springs not only learned to live with the wind industry, but they annexed much of the land beneath today's wind farms to bring in that tax revenue. In addition, the wind farms have become something of a tourist magnet, drawing visitors from all around the world to look at their majestic beauty. Now, the lifespan of most of these turbines is about 20 to 25 years, but as the years pass, more disappear to make room for newer, more efficient wind turbines, which need less maintenance and are more powerful. In fact, in the last 10 years, the number of wind turbines in the San Gorgonio Pass has been reduced from over 2,000 to less than 800 with an increase in electricity output. So the San Gorgonio Pass wind farm has contributed to the state's renewable energy goals and has become an iconic part of the desert landscape. All right, desert, it's been a minute.